What's up guys, this is Josh Toy. I'm here at the Vault Pro Scooters doing my first custom build and we're doing a street build. So let's go into the back and get the parts ready. All right, so I'm thinking start off the build, pull the deck first and kind of go off of that. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Quadrum 3 in raw, the medium, which is 22 long. 22 by 5.2 wide. Okay, let's see here. Build off of raw deck. We'll get the headset. Yeah, let's do the headset. No question, wasn't even a thing. Velocity headset, can't go with anything else. Oh, uh, the vault antics right here. <laughs> Children. So I think I'm gonna play off of the raw and do black and silver Orca SCS. And then to go with that, I'm gonna do the native fork as well. Black and silver, of course. Versa fork. Jumping from these uh, wheels. Yeah, wheels, we'll build off of that. Gotta represent. Going with the River Hep Greggs. Hep Greggs the homie. And it's a really good color. So I got those wheels. Um, I need to match some gold in there. I could go with the Titan top cap, which you can buy separately, just to clue in those, uh, those hints of gold with the core. And now that we're here, to match the urethane of the wheels. Go with the Sabrosa Chula grips, or genetic flangeless grips, I should say. These are gonna match the urethane like perfectly. And we, so we could still keep that Velocity headset, which is really good quality headset, but I can clue in that, uh, that color of the gold from the cores of the wheels. So next, I guess we'll go into the bars. Raptor's a sponsor. They always hook me up. They're really good bars. Raptor chromoly T-bars and raw. It's gonna match the deck really well. The one thing I'm not liking though is these bar ends, the mint. I want to throw in a little bit more black to kind of match in the SCS and the fork. So I know they're not a street brand, but I'm gonna go with the Scoot Warehouse bar ends because they're gonna take any amount of abuse you're gonna throw towards them. So we're gonna go with those. I think that's it. I think we're good to build. Grip tape? <laughs> That's right. Let's throw in a little more gold on that one. So, I mean, I know Cam Ward just used it for his build, but I got to represent for Hella Grip. Danilla pop off. It's going to match the wheels, the headset. It's going to kind of even out all the colors. Now I think we're good to build. <laughs> so let's go to the front. <laughs> I'll meet you up there. All right, so we got all the parts here. I'm going to start unboxing them, laying them out so we could get this bad boy built and put together. All right, so now that we have all the parts laid out, they're ready to be put together. I'm excited, let's get it going. I'm gonna build it in the vise, just cause it makes it a little easier to put all the parts together. So I'm gonna get a rag for this thing so it doesn't scratch the side of the deck up. Aw, turns out we don't have rags in the back room. <laughs> there should have been some cleaning ones over here, but. Oh really, are they back here now? Holiday season was crazy. We don't even have rags oh. that are clean. Oh! Oh! Found one. Brett coming in clutch just to protect the deck from getting potentially scratched by the metal of the vise. Not that you would really see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of a rough finish as it is, so. Well, maybe I should take it out just for the grip tape first. You know what? Yeah, that's how I like to do the builds. Not even following the right processes. Let's get all the hardware out first. That way we can get a clean grip job going for you. So the one thing that's also cool about these Quadrum 3s is they got rid of the plastic plugs because they were starting to ovalize. So these are aluminum. You won't have to worry about them rounding out anymore. So it'll keep your back end nice and tight. And I need a three millimeter Allen key. And the cool thing about these fenders is that they have a double fender. So when you're locking into grinds or certain slides, you don't have to worry about bottoming out, hitting your wheel kind of gets to slide on that like a grind plate. So you never have to worry about uh, sticking on certain grinds and slides. Get out of here, Fender. Now this is the fun part. It's getting the grip tape on centered. Let's see if I can make it happen first try. I always like to check it by going like that. Oh yeah, I need to move it over. <laughs> always happens. Dang, it's sticking pretty dang good to this deck. Oh God. All right, let's try this again. Nope. Super crooked. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to the back end at all. <laughs> I was trying to line it up with the down tube. Come on, third time's a charm. 
Third time is a charm. I'm gonna grab the roller just to kind of get it out of there. Thank you, Brett. Coming in clutch again. So just from where I had to pop it back up, kind of created a couple spots that wanted to stick up a little bit. So I'm just getting rid of those right now. That way you guys have it nice and flush. Now on to getting this thing ripped. I always like to start at the front end. You get to cut around the welds. I've been working here for a while now, but when I worked for another shop, we used to use templates. And I've been hitting these guys up to switch to templates for a minute. But they like to do it the old fashioned way, so. The better way. The better way. Yeah, you can't do that with a template. You can't get that close to the welds. You could if you got a good template. <laughs> I like to go down like a lot when you file down the sides and around the brakes just to make sure that it makes it an easier cleaner cut and uh, with this stuff being a little bit thinner it makes it a lot easier to do that wow is this blade already dull <laughs> i'm gonna get a new blade that thing is dull <sighs> all right now i'm gonna attach the fender after i put it in the vise If you ever have three millimeter bolts on your, uh, on your deck, when you get to tight, stop. Don't try to keep going like you do with a five or four mil bolt because you will strip these things out. So once you get it to that tight spot, just leave it at that. It's gonna be perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna mount the headset and the fork. I won't need this uh, crown race because the fork has a built-in crown race. One less piece of hardware to deal with. Oh, that's perfect. You don't even have to rubber mallet them in. There we go, like butter. Can't believe you would defile, abandon. Defile the headset. The, the vault headset. <laughs> we are good. That's awesome. No headset spacers, that's gonna be good. Best part about this SES 2 is that they're using the uh, M8 six millimeter bolt. So it's much stronger, stays tighter longer. You don't have to worry about Though it's rare, stripping out the head of the bolt when you tighten your compression. And the fork has an integrated star nut, so you never have to worry about the star nut slipping or breaking, but you do have to worry about this spinning. And I am very particular about your SCS and fork being straight. Oh yeah, straight. Now I'm gonna mount the wheels, just so we could get this color scheme kind of popping off. You're using six millimeter heads on these axles as well which is always nice because you don't have to worry about them stripping out as easily. That's how easily this front end goes together. Let's mount the back wheel on here. Self-tightening, which is gonna be a relief. Don't even need my other hand now. Now we gotta install the grips. These are probably the most heavy duty bar ends you can possibly buy. They're made of like some sort of rubber. You can bang these things on the ground forever and not have to worry about this thing's ever breaking. Ha, James hit the wall. It's hard filming walking backwards. I could only imagine. Oh yeah, everybody, thumbs up. Let's get it to 5K. James gets to do a custom build if we reach 5K. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't ready for that one. No, all we gotta do is check the hardware to make sure that they're not slightly tightened <laughs> before I try to put the bars in and look like an idiot. <sighs> I'm just gonna finish tightening these bolts for this SCS and I'll see you over there in just a moment. So the build's done guys. I think it came out pretty dang good. Uh, I'm really liking the touches of uh, gold with the little mint here and there, but it's not too overpowering. You still have the neutral color scheme of everything else with the blacks and the raws and the silvers. All around, this is a pretty dang good build. I would buy this for myself if I possibly could, but I'm trying to share the wealth with you guys. Um, so I bet the number one question you guys are asking is whether or not this thing is dialed. It's gonna be dialed. It's always dialed, it's vault dialed. Now you, uh, you had some, some trouble getting it dialed. What was the issue? 
Uh, so the top cap had a little bit of play. Oh, you mean the top yeah, cap? Yeah, the, yeah, the top cap? cap that I refused to, you know, give give up. Yes, I know. <laughs> but it does bring that gold together. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow all of our social media accounts. Give me a follow. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Vaults YouTube channel. And uh, have a great one.